Why is registration of clinical trials important? It is the first step towards trial transparency and the future dissemination of health research outcomes. It also provides opportunities to reduce publication bias by avoiding duplication and increasing collaboration. If you want to become a part of the change that will improve using research for health, we will show you how. Many organizations and research advocates have agreed on the importance of registering research. It is a requirement of good ethics review committees and leading publishers, including top journals, the Helensky Declaration, and it is a mandate approved by the World Health Assembly and World Health Organization's Strategy on Research for Health and PAHO's Policy on Research for Health for the Americas. WHO established standards for trial registration that were agreed with stakeholders in 2004. These standards included the variables that needed to be provided in registration and how these should be formatted so that they could be collated and organized in a meta-registry, a registry that would pull together the information of many data providers. That is WHO's International Clinical Trial Registry Platform, ICTRP. Now let's go to ICTRP and see a definition of clinical trials, where to find data providers, and what variables are they. Now here we are with the operational definition used for clinical trials. And in this section, you can read about the variables that need to be provided, and sometimes trials are registered in more than one database. Because there are requirements for registration from different sites, also, ICTRP helps to identify duplications. Here is the list of registries that currently meet the World Health Organization criteria to be primary registries, and some that do not meet it, but are still considered data providers. Primary registries meet higher quality standards and are therefore recommended. There are data providers that have interfaces in such languages, such as English, Portuguese, or Spanish. All of them will make the required 20 variable data visible in ICTRP, allowing you to share this information and include it in your submission to a journal or ethics review committee. Now suppose that we would like to register through isrctn.org. It is better if you review the whole concept of ISRCTN. Before you register, you need to create an account. Please sign up for your new account to register but make sure that you are designated as the person to register for your study and routine. After receiving an email and validation link, you should be able to log in. Now you have logged in, and this is where you have to enter your information details. There are four sections such as trial details, contact information, sponsor and funder information, and payment agreement. You have to go through each section to complete the whole registration of your clinical trial. You cannot submit it if you have not completed inputting for each variable, and it is very important to have all information details as possible. Here is a list of the 20 key variables. This minimum data set, which is supported by the WHO's ICTRP, will be necessary to register a clinical trial. This is an example, and remember, this is one out of several qualified data providers. When you are ready to register, you need to choose an appropriate data provider. It improves awareness of trials for all clinicians, researchers, patients, and the public. You can make it happen.